sisters joined together during the pandemic to create a brand focused on the, creating the perfect accessory for your family. And now they are opening up a store where they grew up and launched their business. So excited to have the owners of Bits and Bows here, Sarah and Katie Shelby. Thank you guys for coming in. Thanks so much Thanks for, having, for us. having us. I know we featured some of your products on PTL when you first launched and now we're getting ready to open a brand new store, like a brick and mortar store, right? Our brick and mortar flagship store. We are so excited. Yeah, um, we started the whole thing out of my house during the <laughs> pandemic and like it was just getting too big and finally we were like, okay, we need to take the next step and open a store here, but it's more like a hybrid store. So we use it as workspace, fulfillment space, um, embroidery space, but then we are starting these shopping events where we're going to invite everyone in to uh, experience the magic inside. There it is. And here is your store. <laughs> and, yes. and tell us where it's located. Um, it's right in the heart of Fox Chapel. Um, it's 715 Dorseyville Road. So it's really hard to miss it. If you ever are passing by Fairview School, it's right across the way. Um, and like you said, we launched two years ago with a single product. And what was that? Um, that's our bow baseball hat which is still our signature product. And we created it as kind of our updated feminine twist on um, a timelessly traditional sportswear staple. Um, but since then we've expanded into a bunch of different other product categories, um, all that really lend themselves back to that mission though, that we started the whole company with. Um, so and, and what was that mission? Is it just to tie everybody together? Well, <laughs> Kind of. I mean, being that we launched with just women, we really just want to inspire the celebration and discovery of more of life's everyday magic um, because life, it really all is just a, the add up of everyday moments. Yeah. And yeah. and like whenever you look back, life's just too short it not is. to celebrate those moments. Let them become memories and that's really fulfilling for us to instill into every product that we create. It's wonderful. So with like the whole family now being able to be involved with our baby, with our boy now, um, mom of course is still involved. Um, I don't know, it's really fun to hear back from our customers, which is mostly women moms um, and uh, all about themselves, about their children, about the memories that we could be a part of creating. Um, so, and let's talk about some of the products here because mm -hmm. you mentioned embroidery. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff here that looks like you can customize. And again, the bows are still part of this, but there's so many other things that you're now offering. Well, they can yes. be monogrammed too. So <laughs> a lot of the hats you see monogrammed here with motifs are largely part of um, like our wholesale collection that we sell to other stores. So the, at our manufacturer, those will be embroidered. However, we also have blank. Uh, bow baseball hats and baseball hats um, that we work with individual customers mm -hmm. um, to so put cute. their individual initials or whatever their name, whatever they would like to show on their hat. Um, and we can make a custom all the way down to the bow color, the thread color on the hat color. And we can do that all now inside of our own embroidery studio. It's lovely. And I love these little, this is a trick yes. or treat basket. Yeah, yes. we've now launched so holiday cute. items too. So we've done Easter baskets and then these are um, our Halloween totes. We have our boy version, girl version. Katie's boys use these as their toy totes. <laughs> um, but th these can be embroidered up here or on the pumpkin for girls. Look how then, cute this is. It says pumpkin. It's yeah, a, that's, it's so cute. We have girls and women's yeah. jewelry now too. There's <laughs> A it's lot. really exciting. It's, it's yeah. really fun for me to see how you all have expanded mm -hmm. your business since we Thank first you. met you. Yeah. And so let's talk about the open house because it's coming up. Yeah. Yes. So people will be able to come in and shop. Mm -hmm. When is this happening? Yeah. So our doors will be open to the public the weekend of October 14th and 15th. On Saturday, we'll be there from 10 to 6. Um, and Sunday is... 12 to 5, to five. <laughs> um, and we will be there the whole time ready to welcome you. Uh, we tried to make it um, last the length of the weekend so we don't run into a lot of crowded areas um, with parking and with just too many people in the store. So there's a big window of time you can come in, shop with us. There will be crafts, there will be stuff for the whole family, and we really just want to drive the experience of shopping with us home. Um, by having customers in the store. It's really wonderful. Well, thank you both for coming thank in so and the wonderful, look how fun this display is. It's gonna be great. Congratulations again on opening up. And thank you. thanks again for coming in. And